Hello and welcome back to the finale episode of Zealonka. Right, the first thing I'd like to do is, as you can see, I've cut down a couple of trees here and they are in the path, so they must be removed. So my plan of attack here is to attach to our winch and simply take them over to the sawmill. We might as well get uh, a couple more uh, pallets of planks sorted. So that's what we're going to do right now. We'll take these two, drive them through here. Hopefully we can drive them with some sort of ease. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Brilliant. As you can see, we are at 1.5 million. I think that's more than we had before. Uh, the reason being, yes, that will beautifully bring us at least another four planks. So let's just very quickly get that activated. Uh, the potato soup is going very well. We have nearly 21,000 liters. Uh, here we can visit over there very quickly. Yes, we've got eight sitting out here and another however many in there. So that is really really good. I think we'll have to bring the... yes, we'll bring this lorry down and uh, and get them loaded as well. Now that we're done with the planks, we just have to wait for them to be produced and then we'll take them down to the piano manufacturer, which by the way we did produce another piano in the time away because uh, we did uh, go through a couple of months. We are in October now. We left off in August, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yes, as you can see, there is 15% of a piano currently made, so the rest of these planks will make one more. Why not? The other thing we have to do, so aside from bringing the truck over to the soup factory, uh, the only other thing we really have to do is sell some eggs, uh, but that will be in either at the end of this month or the beginning of the next month. So, uh, potato soup, as you can see, is at a very good price. So, we really, we could sell some now, but the best price is, sorry, is March. Here, we will go through this menu, potato soup. Uh, so, yeah, Erlingrad's always going to be the best price, but as it stands, if we wait until, oh, March is not as good. Right, we're going to sell some potato soup. Sounds good to me. I think we've just missed the train. Yeah, it's just gone by, so not a problem. Uh, we'll take this down to... Well, you know what? We might as well sell those eggs as well. I mean, there is only a few of them, but we'll go down to the soup factory. Zoop, zoop, zoop. And uh, we'll collect some potato zoop. All right, here we are, and let's get lined up really nicely, and it should load up loads of soup. And we'll let it load up and it should continue to spawn and load in onto the truck. There we go. Brilliant. So we do have... how many more in the production? I'm very lost here. Right, so that's all we have for the time being. We might as well wait a small while to, um, to allow even more, at least a couple more, to spawn on there. I mean, I suppose we could sell these ones now. But there is at least one more coming soon. So I think what we'll do... So here's the plan, by the way, while we uh, wait for this. I will actually fast forward a bit of time while I ramble on. So yeah, we'll wait for two more uh, pallets at least. Anyways, as we wait for that, my plan here is to collect this potato soup, take it over to the... Sorry, I'm just noticing now how nice of a, uh, of a screenshot this would be. That's lovely, that is, isn't it? Nice. Right, enough of that. Um, right, we've got one, and we've got two coming shortly. It came a lot quicker than I was expecting, so I'll put that down a bit. What my plan is, is once we get this soup on, we can get some sold, and we can continuously, slowly but surely, sell all of the potato soup. We still have 365,000 litres, though, of the actual product to go to, the potatoes to go to, or through rather. So once we do that, then we'll be able to, uh, well, get the rest sold, obviously. But we already have 60,000 litres of soup on the back of the lorry there. My plan is to get the apples as well, because this episode is strictly going to be pretty much selling things, really. Uh, well, thing by things I mean potato soup pretty much exclusively. So what I'll do is 
I'm very tempted actually to wait until next month. Uh, While well, the price is going down, but it's still better than the best. So, yeah, maybe we'll take this load down to the train station and uh, then while we wait for the rest of the soup to arrive, well, to finish producing, uh, then we can go and collect some golden apples. Alright, the train is just arriving. Now it's probably going to stop. Yeah, it usually stops a bit... Uh, a bit back there, so that's absolutely fine. We'll just run up to the front of the train get it lined up a bit better with the lorry so I was actually thinking about selling the lot of them at once just selling all of the potato soup at one time but it really struggles uh, once you have if you have too much on there I find that they even if you load them on properly and not put the whole vehicle on there it does tend to not really like um, uh, selling them all, if that makes sense. I've had it stacked, this full lorry stacked on here, and it has been an absolute shambles in the sense of just sending pallets everywhere. So I really don't think that it's a good idea to sell them all at once. So I'll sell a, a fair amount. I mean, that's 60,000 litres right there. That's pretty good. Um, I think we can just, yeah, there we go, get straight to the train. Um, I think that's a pretty good amount on its own. Uh, there should be no issues with flying pallets, but we'll find out when we get to the sell point. And we are kicked out of the train. Here we go. Yeah, see, even then they didn't all really sell very nicely, but that was nearly, well, over £200,000 from all that soup. So I think from the soup that, I mean, that's a, only a tiny portion of the amount, total amount that we uh, that we have to sell, as you can see. The planks are going fine, the potato soup is going fine. Uh, what I might do is, because there are so many here to go, I might actually bring us through till spring. So basically go through the months until spring. Although I do want to bring the planks over to the piano factory, so I'll probably do that before we move on to spring. But uh, in the meantime, I think I'll rest. Um, as you can see, if you can see, all of these little yellow sort of things, that is all of the collectibles. Now, there, it's very possible that these are some I already have collected. Because if we do look at the map, it shows, it shows that there should be one here. But, and that there should be another one, possibly on the other side. Now this one I might have already gotten as well, but my plan is basically to go round and, because uh, I don't know exactly, yeah, I should have already gotten whatever this one, w oh no wait, hang on, have I? Right, well, we'll go round, we'll collect all the ones we can, uh, if, oh it's on the other side, if we're uh, here we can actually just fly there. How cheeky is that? Ah, there is one here. Brilliant. So yeah, this is the plan. Uh, we're not going to fly to all of them. I suppose we could, though. <laughs> but what my plan was, was to simply go into a... Oh, I should have seen how many there were left. Um, yeah, because I can't... Yeah, I can't go through and check which ones we haven't gotten. So basically, it's your um, development mod... Uh, which is fantastic. Uh, uh, what's the specific? I can't remember exactly the name, sorry. But you have the option to show your collectibles. So I don't know how many we've actually found or not. We found at least 10%. Uh, so maybe we'll just put it at 10%? Because you can basically change it. But if you put standard, if you put 100%, obviously you can't see any of them. So yeah, we'll put that at maybe t uh, 10%. Because I can't remember exactly how many we have or haven't found. Um, and then we can go round probably, uh, possibly actually, in a cheeky little time lapse. And just round them all up. They're mostly in this area here, to be honest. Uh, sneaky ones indeed. And we will uh, track them down. And if there's any we're missing, then we'll just go from there. But in the meantime, we'll have a cheeky rest. And I will bring in the meantime as well. There's one pallet of planks there. I'll bring them over to the piano factory. And we'll get another piano made. 
Alright, well we did get a fairly impressive load of planks from those two big trees, but here we are with 8,000 litres, and they will all sell away very quickly as well, and it will not sell, but go into the production. So we do have 8,000, I think we'll only get, well... Now we might only get one more out of it, but we might get, we might actually get two more, but we shall just have to wait and see. It's not a big deal, as I say, money is not really a, an issue on this series, uh, because we are, well, we're not, we're not taking the money away from it. Um, it will be interesting to see how much we get from the potato soup, though, but as far as, like, the grain there, the eggs, uh, the leftover planks, the wood chips, things like that, doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, very quick check on the soup. It is producing like mad, although it is going a bit slow, but that's fine. Uh, we are going to progress through to... Oh, I forgot about the eggs, didn't I? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's not really worth bringing that just for that. So we'll bring it the next time we do a load of soup. Right, but what we'll do in the meantime, as I say, is now that we have productions loaded up, we will make our way from November through the winter time and back to spring so that we have a nice, beautiful spring weather to do some golden apple hunting. See you in the spring. Good morning and welcome to a beautiful April morning. Here we are just heading to the shop. I should have probably sold off the John Deere earlier because, uh, yeah, it's just been sat there anyways. Might as well do it now. So we've got the, uh, got the winch and the front. This thing has been amazing. I'd like to use this in more series. When you don't have a front loader, you don't have a forklift or anything, and you just want to use something like that, very efficient indeed. So we can quickly repaint and repair everything. Nearly £30,000 to repaint the John Deere. But we did buy it brand new, so we got some decent cash back from it. Uh, we did also sell a piano in uh, in one of the last few months, uh, but also just to show you where we're at with the soup, it is going very well. We've probably, we've used up, well, I mean, it was at 448,000 total. So yeah, it's going quite well. If we do visit over here, you'll see that the lorry is loaded up. Basically what's gonna happen is I should have just kept the other 60,000 or whatever, and I should have waited and done it all in one big lump sum. That would have been brilliant because when we put this on the train, it's going to fly away, but we also have so much more coming that we're going to have at least two or three more loads. So we'll probably do that all in one session, get it loaded all onto the same train, and hope, hope that they all sell. If not, we'll have to go and flick them into the uh, sell point. Anyways, what I've decided to do, uh, something a bit different for the collectible hunting, because why not? It's just for fun. It's just for good fun, a nice way to end the uh, series. I did the same thing on uh, Silver Run with the last uh, downloadable map. And um, so I actually purchased a truck, like a pickup, and went around and collected all of the collectibles. So I'm going to do the same sort of thing here. I was going to use the little lizard truck that they provide for you, but... I've decided to try something a bit different. So I have this installed, and it's a nice little motorbike. I've never used a motorcycle on um, FS, so that should be a fairly interesting. I like that a lot. It's a really nice color. And let's do a black seat as well with the red there. It's very nice. Nice, 180. That will get us around very quickly. Uh, we could change it up, black it all out. That would be pretty cool. A black new age, and uh, let's do black rims as well. That looks wicked, that does. Right, nice. Okay, well, let's just buy it. Why not? I don't know. If it's rubbish, then we won't use it. <laughs> looks quite funny, actually. Hey, you know what? We need, uh, we need a bit of safety. So we should probably go to the wardrobe, get a new hat. There we go. And confirm. Brilliant, now we're safe. But if it's going to do 180, oh my, oh my, that is way too fast, way too quick. Yeah, we don't need that. How does it even, how do you drive that? Look at that. I mean, if you're on the road, yeah, it's fine. Oh, I suppose that's fine. You just have to be a bit conscientious of it. Right, okay, well, let's try and uh, get some, <laughs> get some collectibles, shall we? 
I feel like I need a new outfit altogether. Now I'm just having too much bloody fun with it. Yeah, let's do a uh, a full kit setup. Oh, that that that's about right. And we'll do this, but we'll change the color over to match. <laughs> it's bloody Iron Man on a motorbike. Look at that. Now, oh wow, that is quite the outfit. Blimey, I don't really know about that, but <laughs> nevertheless, let's go make some some money from collectibles. Right, so I'm my plan. <laughs> This definitely deviated away from any intentions I had. I don't know if I want to use this bike anymore, blimey. Iron Man's looking quite thick indeed. Okay, let's go and find <laughs> bloody Nora. Let's go and find these bloody collectibles. So the plan, as I said, I might have already collected them. Ah, hello. Third, only 32 more. Do you reckon we can do 32 collectibles? Well, 32 now, yeah, in a, uh, in a one minute time lapse. I suppose there's only one way to find out. Let's crack on. Alright, so I just want to take a very quick moment here because I can't remember exactly if I... Blimey, you can hear that motorbike miles away. I don't know if we did give this a, a try, but I know that yeah, I've noticed this and you can actually go and score a goal. Or, or miss a goal. Whoops, bloody Nora. Here, we'll go try the other way. Now we're just having too much fun with this finale of Zealonka. Let's see if we can go top, top shelf, top bin. There it is. 1-0. We'll leave it at that. Right. We'll crack on with the time lapse. Right, well, I think this is <laughs> plenty of collectible hunting and, uh, you know, flying through on our motorbike as Iron Man. Uh, this is a good opportunity to now move on. I know we haven't fully finished all of them, but for some reason, I feel like I've already collected all of them. Now, it says there's seven remaining, but if you look here, there's one, two, three, four that are here that I did look for and I think I've already collected them so I'm not entirely certain what is the deal there but we basically do have 90% of them found and I'm not seeing any more on the map so that is a bit of a shame I thought we could maybe collect them all uh, perhaps we should have started a new uh, game save for that but uh, for oh I guess Iron Man's thrusters don't work very well uh, but for the last time from Thick Iron Man uh, we will see you in May and we'll crack on actually we might as well have a look now before we do that to see all right we are getting on well so the next time we see you all the potatoes will have been processed and we can start getting them sold to Erlengrat.
Good morning and welcome to September. So we've made our way to September. The production did finish in uh, the summertime, but the best price is currently right now. Believe it or not, all of this soup that you see is worth one million pounds. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Sorry, just shy of a million pounds, but that's fine as well. Right, what we're going to do is we'll take this first load, because <clears throat> these, these ones here are pretty much uh, completely full loads. So I'm going to take this to the farm first, uh, because we can then collect the whatever pallets of eggs there are, because we do need to get those sold as well. So we'll get those sold, we'll bring it all to the train, we'll call the train, and then we'll do a couple trips back here, get the rest of the potato soup, and get it all sold to Erlengrat. Alright, here we are at the train. Now, it was just arriving as we uh, as we got near, so it was very good timing indeed. Right, so we do want to set up the unload, and we will... Oh, I've hit the wrong button and jumped out of the lorry. So, I think I'm going to try a new strategy of putting them closest to the front first. Ah, right, we will reverse just a touch so that we can line up nicely. There we go, that should do. And uh, my plan, hopefully, is that they sell before they hit the end of the train, because I'm almost certain that is why that happens. I think it hits the very end there, and then that's what causes that issue of them flying everywhere and going all over the place. So, right, we'll head back to the soup factory, and we'll collect some more soup. We'll get it all loaded onto the train, and then we'll get it sold. Right here we are with load number two going on to uh, the train car here. Let's get nice and lined up. Try and keep it as together as possible. I uh, I do kind of wish now that I had kept the uh, other 60,000 litres that we had for this final selling session. It would have been well over a million pounds with that. But uh, nevertheless, we are now getting the soup ready to sell. And here we are with load number three and the final load as well. So we'll get that set up and raise it on up. Get lined up with the other stack. I, th I just think if they're close together they'll have more, more of a chance of all selling. I, I do hope that that's how it goes. Uh, this I suppose we can just leave here. We won't need that anymore. Get them all strapped in. 242,000 litres of potato soup. So that would have been 282 had we not sold some already, uh, but that's absolutely fine. Now, I am very curious to see how this goes, and we will find out very soon. Oh, and also 2,455 litres of eggs as well. They will be scrambled eggs by the end of this journey, no doubt. Uh, this has been a really fun uh, series, I have to admit. Beautiful map. Uh, really enjoyed it, but it is time to, uh, to move on. Uh, I have enjoyed my time, though, with it. I think we did some pretty cool things. I like how we did the all the new productions. I'm very pleased that I got around to doing all of them, um, including a load of potato soup, so that's quite fun as well. Um, and uh, it's always just nice to try the new Giants maps to see what they've done. Um, but uh, but that's it. And as far as the golden apples go, I know that was a bit silly doing the uh, the Iron Man run around on the motorbike, but it was quite fun. Shame we didn't find all the apples, but that is fine. Here we go. Oh, bloody hell. Well, we sold most of them. I suppose we should just uh, try and get them all into the trigger now. Should have just drove the bloody truck in myself. Oh my, what a mess. I uh, I didn't really see where they all went, but at least we uh, we know that these ones are all near. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on. Oh my, they went very far and wide. Yeah, maybe it's for the best we didn't add the other ones on. It would have been even worse, to be honest. At least we can just uh, get... Oh, somebody's honk, beeping on the, the road there, honking at the tins of soup. Well, it's all right. The, uh, the shipper can uh, deal with the discount.
price for the uh, residents of Erlengrat who get very, very dinted tins uh, of soup. Now, I don't know f for certain if... Uh, oh, is there a barrier there? Oh, that's why. I will have a quick check as well in a moment to see if uh, all of them have... Uh, any of them have made their way into nearby fields or something. But in the meantime, let's just get this brought over. Come on. Get them all in there. Brilliant-ish. There we go. Now, let's have a cheeky look. Oh, we've missed one. Let's see if we can launch it into the... Oh, nearly. There we go. Now, it's very possible that some more have uh, flown away. As long as they didn't fly out of the area, then we should be fine. I'm not seeing any over here. Could you imagine if they flew all the way over here? That would be a bit mental. Um, yeah, I think we got it all. We did. Right, well, there we go. Three million pounds is what we've uh, passed by. So I suppose we could check to see just how much actually did sell. So 998. Yeah, that makes sense with the time depreciating as well. And we did get the, um, the other... 200 and some thousand as well uh, from the uh, the first selling session. As far as pianos go, uh, we did run out unfortunately here, but one last thing I want to check before we move on is uh, the trees here. So I know we didn't get all of the... I don't know if there's any... What am I doing here? Get rid of that and that. I don't know if there is any sort of benefit to doing that other than just collecting them all. I don't think there is, but uh, there we go. The golden apples. Most of them. Most of them, at least. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll head back over to the farm, though, because I do want to have one final look at our little farmland. I'm very pleased with how this turned out, especially with uh, with these sheds. They really help to create a more natural feel to the, to the farm. We did have another shed over here as well. It was a very small, fairly useless one. Uh, but the sawmill as a shed was a brilliant idea. I'm very pleased I decided to do that. Even though we didn't use all of our forest for pianos, that's fine. Those trees do look really nice uh, on the landscape there. The oil mill, of course, we did place. Uh, so it's a bit of a shame we didn't do more with this space. But uh, again, this uh, was never really meant to be a full-on big-time series. Uh, from the beginning, I was always saying it was a bit uncertain. But I am pleased that I did end with a nice big uh, potato harvest that was a lot of fun that and um, very awkward shape field it would have been nice to do a massive harvest with all this but again this is uh, this is where we'll be leaving with our Zealonka series so I do hope you've enjoyed it and uh, I know I have I, I've definitely enjoyed it it's just time to move on and uh, <laughs> again I do hope you enjoyed the uh, little silliness there with the apples and all but uh, we did collect most of them and that's absolutely fine that being said this particular time slot so now obviously we have the uh, Wednesday and Thursday instead of um, instead of Tuesday and Thursday Monday Tuesday those days are just better for me to make certain that I have all my episodes ready and to make sure that I have everything else done aside from my YouTube schedule as well uh, this obviously is on a Thursday but the last three episodes I didn't want to bring the finale episode to the next week I thought I would get them all done in one uh, fell swoop just like I did with Court Farm but next week on the Wednesday, Thursday spot, a new series shall start. I'm very excited about that. But this does it for Zealonka. So from the for the final time from Zealonka, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the episode and the series as a whole. Uh, if you have done, cheeky thumbs up really does help out the channel. And please subscribe. So until the next one, please do take care. And bye for now.